All right, good morning. Back out at the field. Pretty chilly this morning. About 38 degrees out here, but only an ever so light breeze is all. Got a new, well, I shouldn't say new. I've had this thing for about 10 months. Been in the box. I just never have got around to unboxing it. So, wife went out of town for this weekend, so I was up till about 1 o'clock last night putting it together. This one and an FMS Zero, uh, or excuse me, Fly Zone. This one and a Fly Zone Zero uh, I put together last night. So, uh, today uh, tied up with uh, other commitments. I'm only going to fly this uh, Spitfire. I'm going to come out on mid rates on the ailerons, high rate on the rudder and the uh, elevator. I did set this up with safe binding. I've never flown a Spitfire. I always thought they were great looking planes. Up and away. This one really likes to have it at full throttle. We're going to slow it down on this pass. Fifty percent. And there is our timer. Make us a gear pass here. Yep, they're down. All right, this is flight number two of the Spitfire from E Flight. First flight went okay, but it uh, seemed like it was underpowered. So, and looking at a couple of other YouTube videos, uh, I'm sticking a 4 cell 2200 in it, uh, standard factory 40 amp ESC and uh, the 15 BL motor. All right. Mid rates on the ailerons, high rates on the elevator, and on the rudder. Coming out. Still about 39 degrees. Winds out of the northeast, about three miles an hour. Tails up, little rudder, and we are up. Gears going away. That was no flaps. Jim, I like the way the Spitfires look. What do you think? Yeah. Ever since you picked up yours from that swap meet, you've had me motivated to get mine going and finally put it together last night. All right, let's try a high-speed pass in front of us right here with this 4S and see what she does. Coming in full throttle right there. That's okay. Not as much as I thought it would be. Better? Yeah, it's a little po uh, more power. We'll try the vertical on it. Come down here and turn it around so it's going away from us. All right, flat and level. She's still climbing. Right there, she just ran out. Do a little stall turn. So I'd say it's much better than the three cell, but not, I just don't see it as being a speed demon like I've seen other channels put out there on it. Now, granted, this is only a uh, third. I think it's a 30C battery, four cell, 2200. 
It flies real good. You want to do it? No, no, no. <laughs> Why? I've already made it, so uh, if you pile it in, yeah, it'll it's cool. you pile it in, it'll give me an excuse of go go get a different plane. I'm really uh, digging on jets right now. Yeah. I'm save it back and take it to the sale. All right, I'm going to show you that what that safe does. All right, so let's say we're flying along. We get inverted. Oh, we lose control. Oh, Hit the right button and it turns it right back over. Well, it was quick too. Yeah. We'll do it one more time. If Try to get, get a little get closer. Rain, you got a chance. All right. We're inverted. Oh no. And hit the bailout button and it flips it right back over for you. And there was our battery timer going off. So we've been flying it pretty slow. All right, so. chopping the throttle, coasting it in. A little bit of power to get over the edge of the runway. Two sticks of throttle. Little left elevator. Yeah, it's wet out there. I almost set it down in the rough. And that is why I like planes with a rudder. That's the problem with a couple of my yeah. smaller planes with no rudder on them, man. When you're, if you don't have the lineup nailed, you're gonna have no opportunity to correct it. I still think a prop has a lot to do with it. Oh yeah, yeah, if I blade, it's uh, just not gonna be uh, copacetic to high speed. Look at this right here. Uh, you know, hold that, it's, it's off. All right, see this? Probably can't see it, no, there you go. See that right there? Yeah. I'm working on it last night. These, you actually gotta pop, uh, you gotta pop these covers off right here. And then your guns, your cannon goes laying down in there, it's uh, all one piece, and then you glue this back in uh, with CA. And uh, I was trying to put my CA glue in there, and the uh, bottle nipple was clogged up. Oh, great. And so I played around with it with a pick and a needle and all that stuff, and finally it, it, it just poured half a bottle out. Went all over the work table and, and everything. So it was not a pleasant thing. I was really thinking it was going to take the paint off, but fortunately it only marred it a little bit. Yeah. All right.